Hey and welcome back to another Dark Vault tutorial. Today we're going to be doing this effect which is the scrolling slash typewriter text effect. In previous versions of Blender there used to be an add-on which did this job for us but uh, for some reason in this version um, they don't have it anymore. So we're going to uh, use a build modifier and then that's going to do the job for us. So if we hit numpad 7 to go into top view, it's important we start off in top view. I'm also going to press Control alt numpad 0 to align the camera and set the resolution. So once you've set up your scene here, we're going to add a shift A to add in a text object. Scale this up a bit. I'm just going to put some uh, sample text for now, just so we can see how it looks. I'm going to duplicate it as well. Put something that looks a little bit different. Okay, so if we hit, um, if we put a modifier on it now, the build modifier. Let's go to the modifier panel, add modifier and build. If we scroll through the timeline, we can see it kind of works, but it's going the wrong way. So if we look at the um, the panel here, you'd hope just to check reversed, um, and it would work, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> so we just need to do a few little things to change the, uh, the the motion of the the build, which is not that hard. So I'm just going to set up a scene here. So you just duplicate some of the text text objects and place them around your scene. I'm just going to do that in quick time. Okay, so now I've put all my text objects in the position that I want them to be. I'm going to just um, go to modifiers and put the build modifier on this one. So you see nothing's changed. Because we've not done anything to it yet. So the way this works, um, we want to convert these to a mesh. Because they're just text objects right now. So you can set the time, let's say 25 frames. This might be a bit too long, so you can just choose which frame, how many frames you want it to last for. So we'll say 25 for now. Okay, so if we select all of these, and make sure you select all of your text objects, and if we hit spacebar, and then type convert, so what we want to do hit that convert to, and we want to convert mesh from curve, and that one there, the bottom one. So now all of these are no longer text objects, they're all actually mesh objects, which is good, that's what we want. So for some reason the Modifier is gone. Add that modifier again. Tab into edit mode. And you've sel A to select everything. And make sure you're in face select mode. This uh, this icon here. Otherwise this part won't work. Hit spacebar and then type sort. S-O-R-T. We want to sort the mesh elements. And we want to do it by view x axis. And that's why we did it, we jumped the camera to the top view. So now if we uh, tap out of edit mode and scroll through, we can see that it's doing exactly what we want it to do. So we're going to go through each one of these and do the exact same thing. So tap into edit mode, press A to select everything. Then we're going to press, uh, hit spacebar. And then you can press enter straight away, because since you, that was the last operation you did. Um, and then also X axis. So go through each one of these by doing the same thing. can take a bit of time depending on how many um, text objects you've got. So we're going to select all of these except the top one and then we press shift and then right click at the top one and then if we hit control L we can link the uh, the modifiers by choosing modifiers. So now they've all got a modifier, um, yeah thanks to the first one. Okay so it's, it's working but um, we just need to change a f one or two more things to make it look uh, yeah, correct. We want it to start from the top and each line come in one at a time. So the first one can start at frame one and it'll start uh, length 25 frames should be fine. So we can press control C to copy that. Hit the next one. If we control V in the length, we can um, yeah paste the, the length. We also want it to start 25 frames after. So basically when the first line stops, we want the second line to start. Same for the third line, fourth and carry on. So it's very simple once you get used to it. By the end you should have something that looks a little like this. So it's just a case now of rendering it out and using it for whatever you want. I'm going to render this out as an image sequence and then add it onto um, say maybe a computer screen or something like that. So yeah, hopefully this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure you give it a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. And yeah, thanks for watching.